modern airliners are incredibly safe. For every 3.1 million flights, there's only one accident. In 2015, 136 people did die in accidents, but you have to put that in the context of 3.5 billion passenger journeys. But if the worst does happen, rest assured that no matter what the emergency, your pilot is ready and has practiced for this moment over and over again. Pilots typically have to put in eight hours every nine months in a simulator like this one, which can cost $18 million each. Today, we're going to fly one. And as we walk in, I can already see that this is very realistic. This is an Airbus A330-200 simulator. That's a wide-body jet. It can carry over 300 passengers. Thankfully, they're not simulated to virtually judge me. From the outside, these things may look like a Star Wars AT-AT with a nice fresh coat of white paint. But inside, they're nearly indistinguishable from the real thing. Even the view is convincing, until you see it change from day to night. All right, so we can simulate just about any kind of weather. And uh, George, if you could make it snow for us. Definitely the sorts of conditions that I would like my pilot to have practiced. We have certain takeoff weather minimum. And at Boston here, we'd probably have to at least see 500 feet. So we could demonstrate what that's like. If you want to put the RVR to 500 and show you um, this is all we would need to legally take off on this runway. Six actuators provide a full range of motion and the forces inside really do feel real. You tilt the front up and suddenly Whoa, you feel like you're go. barreling down a runway and into the air. Whoa, that's it's fun, sure, but it's their ability to simulate emergencies that's invaluable. George, could oh, you give us, uh, say, an engine fire? Now I'm nervous again. All right, I'm canceling the warning. We have an engine one fire indication. So which one is that, which engine? All right, so engine one is this control, this set of so engines. So that's the one on your side? Thrust lever number one, we would pull that back to idle. Following the steps, idle. Engine master one off. Okay, so once things are stable, we're going to, or actually I'm going to try to land this flight right. back at Boston on just one engine. I'll tell you what, I, 30, I'll help you just 20, a little. Retard, now pull back, pull retard, back. Retard, retard, pull back. No, that's not the plane insulting me. That's the automatic safety systems trying to keep us on course. You did it. <laughs> you, you, you did it. But I definitely felt like I was part of that. that. My hands are clammy. I'm sweating. It's so easy to get wrapped up in the idea that a whole plane is depending on me to get this right a bit of weather on the way down, and that was still a very gentle landing. I don't think I would have even spilled my drink. Very and nice. then of course you turn around and realize the whole experience was simulated. But hey, that's the whole idea. <laughs>